Hopefully, the comments are not disabled on this video. And if they are, it's not my choice. But today, we're gonna talk about what most people don't understand about optimal training, or what the current science-based community may deem as the best practices for building muscle, and that is that the people following this advice assume that if you follow these training methods in, let's say, a specific study, one that had gotten a group of people the best results, let's say in a 12 or 16 week period, people now assume that if they follow these same methods, that now they'll get better results than following, let's say, some other method. But as someone who's been in this game for over 20 years, I can tell you from experience that it rarely works that way. And to explain what I mean by this, I'm gonna give you a scenario. You take two guys, one that you put on a very simplistic program. Maybe he's training in the gym three to five days per week. He's focusing on progressive overload and training consistently. This is a bread and butter training program. It's filled with all the basics. With this setup, he really doesn't have to overthink anything. He's training hard on this program, but he just doesn't have to go outside the box with his thinking or his training here. And as a result, he just doesn't have a thousand variables to worry about. Let's call him Lifter A. Now, you take another guy, and let's say you put him on the latest science-based training program. Today, that might mean he's in the gym six days per week. He's probably training at his maximal recoverable volume, probably including a lot of lengthened partials and all the latest and greatest training techniques. Now, he's got all the data to support these advanced training methods, but now he might have double or triple the variables to be concerned with than lifter A does. We're gonna call him lifter B. Now, let's say you have them both train at the exact same time for 12 weeks using two different programs. What's actually gonna happen here? Well, in my experience, time and time again, lifter B might in fact make a marginal amount of progress over lifter A in those 12 weeks, although this does happen much less often than you think in the real world. But the real question here is, and what no one talks about, is what happens after those 12 weeks? What happens after year one, five, or year 10? I'll tell you what, lifter A's long-term progress is night and day compared to lifter B's. Lifter A not only grows more muscle long-term over lifter B, but he likely has a longer training career as a whole. He's likely less injured or burnt out from training, and he also generally spends less time spinning his wheels, changing his training program, or overthinking his entire approach. And while everyone's out there worried about who's actually gonna grow more muscle in those 12 weeks, everyone actually forgets that lifter A is now much bigger than lifter B two or three years later. You wanna know why? Because he didn't change his entire training program every single time a new study came out. He never got burnt out from excessive training programming. Many of the variables which don't really apply well in the real world. And because his approach is simplistic and rooted in the basics, it allowed him to continuously progress long term. And in this game of building muscle, it's the guy who can execute the plan the longest and the most consistent that makes the most amount of progress long term every single time. And when people are searching for optimal ways to build muscle, the question shouldn't always be, what is optimal for the next 12 weeks of training? The question should really be, what is optimal for the next 12 months of training? What about the next 12 years of training? And as someone who's been training for over 20 years, I understand that it takes a lot longer than 12 weeks to actually improve your physique. And if you wanna make real changes and develop significantly more muscle mass, you have to base your training around what you're gonna do years down the line, not just a few more weeks. If you guys found this video useful, and if you can, comment down below and let me know. And for all my old school mass game programs, you can find those down below. And as always, if you wanna see more of the best original bodybuilding content just like this, make sure to hit subscribe.